Alright, what's going on guys? Try back again, here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my weekly video predictions leading up to the second last episode for the first half of The Walking Dead Season 7. This one is for Episode 7. It's called Sing Me a Song. Tregan, what should we do with the ones who won't subscribe? Bring them to me. And spoiler warning, if you guys haven't seen episode 6, swear yet. I'll put the link in the description. If you guys didn't see my review for it, it's posted in the channel. So definitely check it out if you want to hear my thoughts on the uh, Tara Heath episode, swear. Pretty good episode, not too bad. I uh, saw people complaining about it already, so <laughs> we'll do a QA. and a So I mean, what you guys got, uh, it'll have one posted for you guys probably tomorrow. Check out the review. This one's the video predictions of what I think is going to happen in episode 7, Sing Me a Song. So... Two episodes left for this half. It's been a really weird half. It's been a lot different from what uh, I think we're used to for Walking Dead, especially considering like season six and how that went, first half of season six, even first half of season five. This half just really very different from anything we've seen before with these separated episodes only focusing on certain sections and certain groups in that. So sing me a song. Uh, we know this one's going to focus on the sanctuary. I'll put the links in the description for the sneak peek as well as the the um the promo and this is another extended episode as is episode eight the mid-season finale uh heart still beating which should be really good this one looks pretty good too as well though because of the title itself uh does refer to something in the comics sing me a song which we can see being set up uh, i won't get into it too much because i don't want to get into spoilers for you guys and give too much away that is unnecessary but uh, there's some really cool stuff uh relating to this title um that we may see in this episode so that i'm really looking forward to uh, if you've read the comics, you know what I'm talking about, a certain character in that. And it uh, looks like it's being set up. It looks like that's what we're going to see based on the title. And it looks like it's going to be really fun. So that'll probably be the highlight of the episode for me. Um, one other thing that's a bit surprising to me is in this episode, it's not a bottle episode. So we're seeing a lot of different things happening from the promo and the sneak peek. In the sneak peek, we see Michonne on the road. And then in the promo, we have different clips. We see Rick and uh, Aaron. We see, um, you know, Negan at the sanctuary, Daryl and Dwight. So, and then we see Jesus and Carl. So we've got different things happening. Uh, Alexandria there for a bit too, uh, which is good. So this one's not going to be one of those bottle episodes that only focuses on one one location with one set group. It's got some different things from different locations, and I think that's good. Uh, I think that that's going to aid in the uh, the storytelling and make this a more entertaining episode than some of the ones we've had, which have been a little uh, maybe too bottle uh, bottled up, so that we don't get to see enough of the different uh, spots with the different things happening. Um, the description for this one says, A deeper look at the sanctuary and the world of the saviors. Members of Alexandria look for supplies. And we can see that. We can see um, Rick and uh, Aaron. We can see them passing over a sign that says uh, uh, trouble. Um, you know, so is that some different kind of group that we haven't seen before? Uh, we'll have to see. Um who knows? I mean, really, it could be anybody at this point. I mean, it could be like a savior type group. It could be a new group. Um, hopefully, it's not something similar to what we just saw with Tara and the location that uh, that we just saw with her. Even though the brush looks like it could be similar, uh, I wouldn't really want to see Rick and Aaron bump into the uh, the women that Tara just <laughs> just found. I think that would be weird and, and kind of unnecessary. And I don't know what they would do after that and how they would leave and stuff. So I don't think that's what they're looking at there with that. Uh, I think uh, Aaron and uh, Rick should probably get away with without getting into too much trouble, I think. Um, but whether or not they can find many supplies is going to be interesting because, um, as we saw from Tara and Heath, it looks like scavenging is becoming very, very hard to do. You know, Finding the resources, finding the supplies, they don't have that much ammo at this point. Um, you know, They don't have much in the way of uh, firearms at all. So uh, for them to go out and have to uh, get things is going to be really tough because um, they just don't have that much and it's a couple years into the zombie apocalypse now so it's not that easy for them to find things at this point so we've got that group we've got the group of rosita and eugene looks like they're leaving it looks like spencer is staying behind he's staying back um, so that could be something there. Maybe if Rick comes back eventually, he's there. Maybe if Negan and, and the Saviors come to Alexandria again and everybody's gone, that could be kind of interesting to see in the mid-season finale, so we'll see. Um, so we've got that and the Michonne whistling sneak peek. So she's like walking down the road and she's whistling, uh, I think it's the Ants go marching uh, <laughs> one by one. 
Uh, and you've got kind of a couple zombies that walk up behind her. She seems to be following um, something in the road, some kind of water, something, maybe gas leak or something. Not sure. Um, so we'll have to see what uh, her aim is, where she's going, if she's looking for supplies, or if she's just kind of blowing off some steam, killing a few zombies. The zombie kills look cool, especially the one she goes through the one's head. Uh, it's pretty wicked. So check that out if you haven't seen it on AMC's channel. That looks good. And we've got the Sing Me a Song promo. So we've got Rick waking up, uh, sleeping in, looks like a, a truck with air and like a U-Haul or something. And um, with that, I mean, you will have to see how much they find if hardly anything. Uh, hopefully they'll find something because everyone else seems to be, you know, not finding anything like Taryn Heath. We've got uh, Michelle walking the row. We've got Negan, uh, and he's got a voiceover for it. Uh, we survive. We provide security. We bring civilization back to this world. We are the saviors. So it's a pretty badass speech. I do like it quite a bit. We've got Spencer at the gate, uh, Rosita and Eugene leaving, Jesus in the truck with Carl, and then we've got uh, who Jesus leaves, and it looks like Carl doesn't, so we'll see. Um, Carl going to the sanctuary, it sounds like. And then we've got um, Daryl uh, looks at uh, Dwight, and Dwight kind of looks back. Uh, we've got uh, Aaron and uh, and Rick. And I keep going. The only thing you'll find here is trouble on the sign. Jesus gets out, and we are the saviors to wrap it up. So it looks like it's going to be a really exciting episode, um, which is good. I mean, we only have two left. So if they're going to make some big things happen, they got to make it happen now, um, seeing as how we're almost to the halfway point of the season and almost to our break. So we've got to have some good stuff happen, you know, before the break. And it looks like we're going to not a bottle episode so you know should be a lot of stuff happening at the sanctuary and, and other groups out and about i just hope that we we you know we we get into some more of the comic book stuff which it looks like we will from the title and this one may be one of the best episodes of our half uh since the premiere i want to say um uh, because after the premiere i feel like all the episodes since then have either been uh good or they've been okay uh, i feel like we haven't had any like amazing episodes except for maybe the premiere episode five was was good um you know episode four w was pretty good too but we just haven't had any this half we haven't had any episodes that really uh pack a punch we haven't had any episodes that are really you know uh, stand out i think aside from the premiere um in the long span of things for the walking dead a lot of stuff is just kind of like the regular run-of-the-mill kind of stuff you can kind of expect so hopefully this one is a standout should be really funny with negan uh we'll see what happens with carl should be really good and um We'll see how it all mixes together and sets us up for the mid-season finale, episode eight, which should be a great mid-season finale, uh, especially after you know some kind of episodes that are concentrated on different spots in this. To finally get to see kind of back to you know our main core group again uh, will be good because they certainly are spreading it out quite a bit. So uh, that'll be it for this one, guys. Uh, let me know what your predictions are and how you think Episode 7 is going to go in Episode 8. Do you think they're going to be good or do you think they're going to suck? <laughs> right in the comments below. Send me your questions for the Q&As. And if you guys like this predictions video, please don't forget to check out the review. Thumb up this video. Check out AMC's uh, sneak peeks and uh, promos for it. And if you're new and you want to subscribe to the channel, bottom left to subscribe. So for this one, see you guys tomorrow for a Q&A as usual. Uh, first Q&A for this week after this uh, episode. Episode 6, it's Trav. I'm saying peace. Later, guys. See ya.